All right, all right, what is happening, people? Hey, guys, first fish of the day. Come out to do a little crappy fishing this afternoon. We at Heiko Lake today, and uh, yeah. So you hadn't seen me uh, do a crappy video in the last couple of weeks. I've been white bass fishing, not finished white bass fishing. I've been a couple of trips with some friends and I did not film. I just went and had a good time uh, actually just fishing, no filming. Uh, so we back crappy fishing this afternoon and I came right up on top of these flats right here. This is where you're gonna find these fish in the back of the coves, scattered. They just scattered anywhere and everywhere. They're sitting on stumps, they're up against the bank, they're out on the flats and uh, that's just where you're gonna find them this time of year. Uh, real quick, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That really helps me. I'm trying to get 20,000 subscribers by June. That's not too long away. Share this channel with somebody that you know that enjoys hunting and fishing videos. I'd really appreciate that. So, hey guys, let's get right to it. Let's go catch another fish. Boy, that, that joker thought he was mean. So, so let me give you an update. So that's about a 10 and a half inch crappie there. So let me give you an update. So I've had some good sized crappie come up and whack the lure. And uh, there's a lot of shad up here on this flat. And so what they're doing is they're they're coming up and they, they swatting a the little bam. And they're not getting it in the mouth. They're trying to kill it. And I'm seeing a lot, I'm seeing bass and crappie running these shad around on these flats up here. So uh, I dropped back, that's that uh, creamy color right there. And uh, that's a good color in this color water. And I've got it topped with a 16th. Because these, because these shad are shallower, when I pitch out to them, I want a lighter, I want a lighter lure, and in that way I can float the lure over top of them a little bit slower. Now I could downsize even more to a 32nd, but if you notice how bad the wind is blowing today, it's hard enough to swing this 16th out and get it down. So there's a happy medium in there between being too heavy and not heavy enough that I have to uh, pitch out. So anyway, let's go catch another fish. Look at that pig! Look at that pig! Good gracious! She's so full of eggs. March crappy fishing, baby. She's a good fish. She's 134. Boom! Pretty fish. Let's turn her back. And I've been trying to dodge the wind all morning. Trying to stay in some of the coves to where uh, that wind would kind of puff over top of me, and uh, it, it's been it's been really tough today. It's a little bit better fish. This is a this is a male fish. See his dark colors. He got his tuxedo on. Go boom! Got a tuxedo on. Ain't they pretty? This ain't they pretty this time of year when they get that dark color? Now he would be darker than that if his water was clearer, but it's not. We'll take it. It's about a ten and three quarter inch fish. See that wind? Good gracious! That makes it tough, man. Especially on this aluminum boat. I'm gonna get over here. I noticed there's a lot of fish on the drop off where the where the bot where the side of the bank comes down. As soon as it gets flat, there's a lot of fish right along that. What I'm gonna elect to do is I'm gonna you can see the wind has changed direction. I'll let the back end of the boat go towards the bank and I'll put the nose out. 
that'll be about where that drop off is. Just a little bit better. Still cold out here, boys. I saw a pretty good fish. Man, he ate that thing. Now that's some eat it like he he ate it like he wanted it. So about a lead midge crappy right there. Hey, we'll take it. I gotta get me another rod. All that white bass fishing, this line has twisted on here using those inline spinners. And every time I cast, this line twists up, so I'm gonna get me another rod. You know, one of the things that I like to do this time of year is you notice, notice how close I am to that bank right there. I'm in casting distance of the bank. And so a lot of times I came up in the upper end and I kind of followed the old creek channel per se, looking, you know, with side scan and down scan, just kind of looking for scattered fish. But when I start fishing, I had to come all the way back in here to get the wind in my nose. So if you're looking for fish this time of year, this will help you. I like to be within casting distance of the bank. So I'm just easing along. I can make cast up to the bank within casting distance. If you've got live scope, you'll be able to see some of those laydowns out there. Sometimes they'll suspend right over the end of those laydowns. And you can, and sometimes those buckfish will be right up against the bank. I mean, tight. So sometimes you have to bump the bank. You see a log laying down like this. Uh, I want to run that lure right down. It's laying on the bank like it. I want to run that lure right down on each side of it. So I'm visually cast into objects, but I'm also watching with the live scope out in front of me if I see a fish up in the water column suspended. So that way I kill two birds with one stone. I'm just not out way in the middle. Now this bank line is fairly deep. Uh, it'll run anywhere from three to six foot deep all the way around. So just a little note, kind of keep up here, might help. boat was swinging. Look, that boat was swinging, man. You, I just took a chance. The boat was swinging so hard. and Luckily, that fish wanted to eat. You know, hey, that's a pretty crappy right there. That light color on him. All right, boom. That's what I'm talking about. Look, I'm staying with the creamy. If you fish early spring, that creamy is a fantastic color. You saw how light color that uh, light color that water is. That bait, all these all these bait fish is a light color at this time of year too. So that's one reason I'm sticking with it. It's a good color. See if we can pluck another one off down here. Didn't do a very good job of boat flipping him, did it? Like an amateur. Another pretty crappy. <whistles> Got him on that. Uh... Yeah, we'll take him all day long. Ah, uh, boom. So, guys, we're going to end the video with that fish. Uh, if you're coming to the lake, upper end of the lakes, in those backs of those coves, uh, midway to the back of the coves, these fish are roaming. They're doing a lot of feeding. I've been seeing them chasing shad all day today, uh, and no round to the reason. They're not stationary. A few fish are sitting on stumps. Most of them are roaming those banks out in three to 10 feet of water, and they just, they just roam in the banks and feed. Anyway, guys, you remember God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Don't forget, 
to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all my subscribers. Hit the like button and click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water.